a new high-tech tool is being used to teach students about a painful part of Canada's past, but one that needs to be told. Residents of the Nova Scotia Home for Colored Children say they were mistreated and abused from the 1940s until the early 1980s. After they came forward with their stories in 2014, the province formally apologized and settled the class action lawsuit for nearly $30 million. Well now, virtual reality is going to allow students in Nova Scotia to be able to learn about this chapter of our history in a brand new way. And this is all through the lens of technology. Joining us from Halifax today are Jerry Morrison and Tony Smith. They are both past residents of the home and they are also narrators of this new project. Good morning to you both. Good morning, morning Anne-Marie. Jerry, I want to start with you. Explain what students are going to see when they use this amazing technology to help bring their history into the present. Uh, basically what will happen, they're using the uh, Oculus Rift system, which is 3D, 360 degree interactive. And you'll be able to, as a student, put on the Oculus Rift gear and uh, see us as residents. And we'll be able to walk you through the home, the different uh, histories of the home, and you'll be able to basically see a picture, interact with it, see uh, information on the home and other data, and I'll be able to take you to areas of the home that I experienced is issues in the, in the home and discuss them with you and go through that whole process. Uh, Tony, both you and Jerry are narrators as part of this, and you let some of your personal story uh, in, into the making of this. Give us an example of part of your past that students are going to be learning about. Well, one thing to be learned about is our journey um, as to why we came to like and, and form voices, victim of institutional child exploitation society, to advocate on behalf of the former residents. Um, that's one part of it. But to be able to take you to where we were raised as, as young kids and to take you to the various rooms in, in the home with this technology and, and tell our story, our journey through the lens of us as kids, uh, I, I think is quite amazing because so far uh, when we were dealing with this area issue and advocating, uh, the students were so much interested in what we were doing, but to hear it first voice, mm -hmm. it, it has more of a positive impact. So this oral history uh, recording, it, it, it's amazing. So incredible for them to be able to, to see it and then hear your voices describe it at the same time. What would your response be yes. to, to, to people who, maybe parents who might say, you know, this might be too traumatizing for my kids to learn about? What would your response be? Well, we're, we're not going into any uh, specific details of the abuse. Uh, just generally, <clears throat> excuse me, we, we would talk about our experience, but we're, we're not looking for the shock value. Um, I, I think it's a, a topic, <clears throat> excuse me again, I think it's a topic that um, it not only affects us as former residents, but this is something that a lot of people can identify with that may be suffering uh, these same kind of experience that we had as kids growing up and understanding that, um, you know, you do have a voice, you do have strength, and, and there are people who do care. That, and if there's someone that you can talk to, you know, to start Jerry, um, what? healing in the journey. Oh, sorry. S sorry, Tony. Jerry, what, what lesson do you want students to take away? I, I want students to realize that uh, there was an institution, a black institution that was put together originally to help orphans, black orphans, that had no place else to go. And to look at the context of why things changed through the different decades. Uh, there are a lot of things like uh, the lack of funding, proper funding, uh, the lack of proper staff to run it, and the things kids went through when they weren't given the proper resources to grow properly. And when the students, when they take part in this, what kind of discussions are you hoping that they have? Well, we're hoping that they have discussions on uh, why, why, why did it happen? What caused it? Uh, how can we change it for the future? Like, just giving them the experience of us being there and, and, the, and they get to see the fact that how we were neglected and the fear and, and, and anxiety we suffered from just being in the home. And we want them to realize that there is a safe space out there and we want to tell our stories because telling our stories to these students is part of our healing process also. And we want to try to heal not only the community, but everybody associated with it and, and the reasoning behind why it happened. It is a fascinating pro project. I love the idea of taking this technology that you know students are so used to dealing with anyway, educating them about their past and then giving them lessons to take into the future. Tony and Jerry, thank you not only for lending your voices to the project, but also being our guests on your morning.